Now we're going to read from our database. The first thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to find our, all of our persons and print them out. Now we do realm. Oops, put it, you put that over here. Realm dot where, so we're putting it where, so which class do we want to query? We want the person class. And he wants to just find all of them. And now we're going to put... All persons. I spelled all wrong. I'm going to put all persons dot for each. This will give us a list of all the person. All the, the, the people in there. Uh, and then we're going to do print line. Person and we're going to put in person dot name. Person dot age. There we go. Put a space between them. And play that. And let's just see if that works. You have an error. We we already create we we already created the primary key one, so we're gonna put in primary key two, just so we have two records. That's what that error gave us. Now we have our person. We have a person of Ted seventy two and Ted seventy two, which trying to add a little more like Dylan uh thirty. We'll put that as three. And we're going to change this. We're going to put in, instead of where we're going to put, I mean, I, um, instead of find all, we're going to put in uh, less than. So to use less than, we need to put in the field name. So we have a field, we have field names of ID, name, and age. So we want the age, and we want less than, we'll put 60. So that means we'll only get Dylan, and then we have to do find all. That'll give us our iterator, so we can actually iterate over this. And if we play this again, I just did, uh, what was it, shift F10, and that, that ran the app. Now we have Dylan 30. We can We can do less than we can do greater than we can do between as well um so we can do between 60 and 100 we can do so many things with this we can pretty much branch them off into more things this is very very simple to use a lot better than queries with sql because it's very human readable in this way